Last time we looked at moving a puppet around with the Puppet Warp tool in Photoshop CS5. So today I want to work on something called alignment. And I'm sure everyone has come across this at some point in their lives. You take a picture, you take an image, and this is directed mostly towards photographers, and the alignment is off. You want everything to be symmetrical, but it just doesn't come out perfect. This is where digital editing comes in. And in Photoshop CS5, you can actually use the Puppet Warp tool to align images to make them look symmetrical. Here I have a picture of a building and as you can see the left side and the right side are not aligned or symmetrical because the right side is a little higher than the left. And what we're going to do today is make the right side's height equal to the left side's without distorting the image. So first things first, open the document in your Photoshop and hold down the option key and double click on that layer so now it is named layer zero and is unlocked. Now what you're going to do is you're going to quickly select the area you want to modify. So pretty much I want to modify the top of this tower and move it down. So I've gone ahead and quickly selected a portion of the tower which I'm now going to move down. Just for a little more accuracy I'm going to drag down a guide from the top and align it with the left tower or the tip of the left tower. So now I know how far I have to move the right tower down. From there you're going to go to edit and select puppet warp. Now as we did in the last tutorial, select a control point and I'm going to select just the middle or the top middle of this tower. Just like that. And in the last video we learned how to rotate things around but right now that's not what we want to do. We want to move it down pixel by pixel and align it to the left tower. And instead of using your mouse, we're going to get a little more accuracy by using our arrow keys. So in Photoshop CS5, you're actually able to use your arrow keys and move that selection down pixel by pixel. And you can go ahead and start moving it down just like that. And I think we have got the tip. Now once you're done moving it or warping it, you can now just hit enter on the keyboard and the selection is still going to stay there. Now as you can see, since we warped that selection and moved those pixels down, there are no more pixels in the original spot. So what we have to do is fill that area using Content Aware Fill. For now what you're going to do is hit Command X to cut that selection out of the area and I'm just going to get this guide out of the way. Now you're going to grab your selection tool or marquee tool, whatever you want to use, quick selection tool and select this small area. Once you're happy with your selection, you can now hit Shift Delete on your keyboard and use Content Aware. Hit OK and it should look something like that. Now don't worry, I know you automatically freak out and wonder what just happened. But what we're going to do now is paste over that area with that tower we cut earlier. So hit Command V on your keyboard and the tower should come up there. Now it's not going to be in the original spot, but what you have to do is align it with your mouse. And if you have to bring the guide back down again, you can do so. And there you have it. Tower is now almost complete. Of course, we can align it a little bit better, moving it to the left and right. And of course, filling this transparent area with a blue. So if you want, you can use the clone stamp tool just like that. And the image is once again almost complete, let's just align that tower or the pasting of the tower with the bottom of it. So what we can do here is we can erase this part of the tower by using our eraser tool. And we should be happy with that. But here is a much faster way. You can pin down different areas of the image but the tower and add a few control points on the top of the tower. Then shift select them so all of them are selected and you can use your arrow keys to move the tower down like that. And if you want more accuracy you can again grab down that guide and place it where you need it to. Move it down, move it down, move it down until you have it. Apply the changes and you're done. You can get rid of this guide and then easily select this area and this area and fill it with content aware. And you're done. That was a much, much faster process. So there you have it guys. This was how to use the Puppet Warp tool in a little more advanced technique with a little more advanced technique. So try it out and let me know what you think. If you like it, post a video response of what you've done 
with your image. Thanks a lot for watching. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe on these videos and channel. And guys, I'll see every single one of you next time right here on Macboy Productions.